Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Good morning, everybody, guys. Let's return back to the discussion on the euro currency. So, um, as you can see, euro slowly but stubbornly is moving down. Uh, actually, as we said was two days ago, although market has reached important levels, we haven't seen any real signs of bullish reversal. So, as market was going to the downside, it is going down to the downside right now. So, no signs of real upward. Uh, possible um, reversal, but actually, guys, this is not really surprising. By two moments, first of all, uh, speaking on the fundamental part of the current situation, you probably know that markets are now stands in fever because day by day there were, were uh, some opposite statements were made from the uh, officials. Uh, previously, in two two days ago, it was said that probably U.S. will start to move in the negotiations to the China with the China concerning these tariffs. Yesterday. Uh, it was the opposite statement Donald Trump has initiated, has given the order to starting uh, consider the more uh, 100 billion dollars tariffs on the Chinese goods. So uh, it's right now market stands really in a very nervous situation. Second moment here is uh, ADP report, non farm parole release today is coming. So ADP numbers were really good, and uh, as they have the 95% correlation with the non-farm payrolls. But also logical to expect the good numbers on the non-farm payrolls. As we said previously, in one of our fundamental researches uh, here, uh, currently, as you know, traders mostly are watching for uh, inflation. So inflation in the wage, uh, that also is part of the NPP report. But um, as we said, currently it's not really very representative because uh, currently situation in the United States economy is quite different compared to uh, previous uh, ye years. And uh, as economy is mostly totally utilized, and, and uh, this is a bit um, not. Uh, it, it could be a bit different story in uh, in wages, so they could show they could not uh, show um, some real inflation. But it doesn't mean that uh, something is bad is happening, and it's really mitigate the effect of the positive numbers. Absolutely not. Uh, Finally, speaking on the technical part, I just would like to show you uh, why I'm not really very fascinated with the idea of the possible upside reversal. Uh, of course, we understand that the other currencies are a different story. So, Australian dollar, Great British pound, they, of course, it's, uh, uh, different currencies. But still, as, the, as all of them stand in relation to the United States dollar, they have some correlation, especially with the Great British pound. So, for example, on Aussie dollar, if we take a look at the weekly chart, you will see that market is moving gradually to the major OP that stands around the confidence support. Recall that. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we have traded COP here and the bounce up. That has happened on the Washington rings on the daily chart. That was trade. Uh, but currently, market is moving down, continuing showing downward action and moving to the OP. It means that for some time, maybe some reversal here will happen. But within the couple, maybe a couple of weeks or some time, as you can see, it should continue to move lower to hit this target. The same story, guys, on the Great British Pound. So, in the last week, we have prepared the research when we have shown you this weekly chart. And you can see that uh, side by side, we have two bearish grabbers. These grabbers uh, show us even deeper uh, potential target. So, because they, they uh, suggest taking out of these lows. And we said that one of the possible uh, development could become a kind of the ABCD action to the downside. So, recall this discussion in our weekly research. You probably should remember it. So that that's very probable the market could drop here, taking out of these lows. And if we'll take a look at the hourly chart, uh, daily chart, you can see that the action is already starting. So kind of the downward action is going on here. Um, 
or better even to the on the forward and from chart right so you can see this retracement that we have talked about it, it has taken a bit different shape so we thought this could become a kind, kind of garden chipo to sell but it was just kind of the sideways more presents some kind of the flag retracement and now it's dropping stands on the way that's why guys in the current situation on the euro currency well it's very difficult to expect some immediate in, uh, upward reversal besides as you can see yes the market is taken out of this point the C point and erased this A B C D opportunity it means that most probable destination in the nearest future will stand again at the former confidence support 2160 or 2170 and a point so you can see it was support here was again the support now market has failed to reach opposite border and starting move down also you could draw a lot of inner lines <coughs> inside of this consolidation for example if you remember we have talked about this triangle previously yes initially market has broken into the upside but later turned back down and now standing below this trend line Another trend line you could find this also has been broken to the upside of the same triangle. So you can see it's the beginning of the week, market has broken through this area and just continue move lower. So all these moments are signs of weakness, guys, on your currency right now. And that's why I think that today hardly it will be a good opportunity for taking the long position. So on the on the forward FM chart market already has passed through the all FIP support levels so we do not have major support 618 support has been broken market stands below the both builds right now it's calling around the weekly build support one if market will drop further next destination point from the build framework will be weekly uh, monthly build support one and stands precisely at the bottom of the 2157 uh, that's most probable destination point also, guys, we're taking a look at the market mechanics on the hourly chart, how in general the situation is de was developing. So uh, it was logical to expect reaching of the XOP target of this ABCD set previously. And we said and that was, by the way, the agreement with the 618 support. If market indeed is bullish, it should react on this. So that should be sufficient for the market to get the support and turn upward situation to the upside action but instead of that you can see every uh, upward action was very choppy mostly indicates the retracement uh, all of the this retracement is kind of the got this triple to sell pattern here 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 again no response on the strong support market rete just retesting the previous laws drop down retest previous laws dropping so currently as you can see uh, this is not normal for any bullish market when the all supports have been broken to the down downside despite the retracement targets it means that the pressure still stands significant uh, on, on your currency and uh, I suggest that the chance on the first downward continuation now looks a bit better than an upward reversal so I think that market really could return back down maybe even today depending on what non-farm pros we will get could really return back down to this conference it, this is at least if, if there, this will be the breakout guys this will be a really significant downward continuation so but currently today we could keep an eye on this area as a potential destination next potential destination point in the euro 